Welcome back to the Old School Gun School and our 12 days of peace on earth and peace of mind. I am J.B. Heron. I'm the lead instructor for the school. I'm going to keep track of my notes today as we go through this information. And as always, I suggest you take really good notes. Those notes will be the basis of our meeting on Sunday when we get to go through the educational portion of this. For now, we're making a good outline so we know what to talk about on Sunday. And so, taking good notes, today is the eighth day already. Wow, eight days of our Peace on Earth campaign. And so, would this be a, a countdown? I'm not sure. If it's a countdown from 1 to 12, or would that be a count up? I don't know. Anyway, uh, even earlier, we brought up some conversation about open carry. So yesterday we talked about open carry. We talked about concealed carry. We talked about constitutional carry and permitless carry, all different methods of carrying a gun while we are out and about doing our Christmas shopping and being away from the home. If we're going to be away from the home, that brings up another topic because we'll have to take the gun with us. And so even earlier, though, we talked about the castle doctrine. And those are your rights to protect yourself whilst inside your home. We also talked about stand your ground laws some days back. And the stand your ground then will be talked about because that is your rights, like the Castle Doctrine. These are rights to protect yourself while outside the home. And so interesting topics both. Today, that leads us to holsters and secure methods of carry. If you're going to have the gun with you, then how would you carry it? How would you keep it protected? And so the decision to carry a firearm outside the home you got to know how to do it. Where would you put it? How would you carry it? What holster would you use? If it's not one you're comfortable that you like and you don't use it, it won't do you any good if you leave it home. So it has to be one that's comfortable to use and easy to get at. If it's difficult to get at, you won't be able to retrieve your firearm in time to help you that day. So let's talk about some of the different holsters. Uh, this is a big conversation. We'll talk more about it, of course, on Sunday. Uh, one thing would be a strong side hip. So for a right-handed shooter, that would be my right hip. And so think of my belly button is noon and the strong side hip would be three o'clock. So that three o'clock position puts it on the hip. And so a classic place to put the gun, if it worked for Matt Dillon, it'll probably work for you. And so a good place to put the gun, we'll call that strong side hip. Another place, kind of the same place, but different. Be inside the pants on the strong hip. And so rather than wearing the gun outside the pants, the gun goes in a holster designed to be inside the pants. A little more concealable. It has some pluses. It has some drawbacks. All good conversation. And so that holster would be an inside the pant holster. Another one would be abdomen carry. Okay. Back to the clock idea again. <clears throat> if my belly button is noon and my strong hip for a right-hander is going to be 3 o'clock, then the abdomen lies between someplace, somewhere between the hip and the tummy muscle. And so you have a dent in there, a little indent. Great place to put the gun. Is that a secure place to have the gun? Hmm, controversial topic. So we'll talk about inside the abdomen waistband a little further on. Where else can we put it? Small of the back. Small of the back then comes around and that would be like the six o'clock position. And so we have a divot there, kind of between both hips. There's an indentation for the backbone. And so a gun could be carried there comfortably. We know that because we remember Thomas Magnum. And so Magnum always carried his 1911 there. It was easy to sweep that, looked pretty casual. It befit his character. So we'll call that the Thomas Magnum carry, uh, which is about the six o'clock position, small of back. What about a shoulder rig? And so for a right-handed shooter, the shoulder rig would be under the left arm. And so it worked for Sonny Crockett, <laughs> Miami Vice. It could work for you. Pretty comfortable, actually. Comfortable both boys and girls. And so we can talk about that shoulder rig when we get together on Sunday. But the shoulder rig can be safe. It can be secure. As soon as we get all the te television myths out of this and learn a proper way to handle the holster. Um, another holster would be a cross draw holster. The cross draw is reaching across your body. Again, my belly button there. Then if that's still noon for a right-handed shooter, then the cross draw is between the hip and the belly button on the other side. Maybe that's, you know, 10 o'clock or so. And so a comfortable place to put it? Yes. And does it have drawbacks? Probably so. <laughs> and so join us on Sunday. We'll talk more about the cross draw. Uh, another place would be an ankle holster. And the ankle holster kind of goes where you think. It goes on the ankle. What do they got on the ankle? is more comfortable than you might imagine, depending on the size of the firearm. I can probably carry a bigger gun 
if it's strapped to my body, something on my hip, something under a shoulder, etc. I can probably carry something of more size. But once I start strapping at the ankle, it might have to be a little more modest in overall size to be able to fit comfortably on the ankle. But having an ankle gun is better than not having an ankle gun in many cases. And so we'll talk about ankle carry. And so where else? Well, it could be off body. Where would off body be? Well, for the girls, it would be a purse, maybe. And so you could carry the gun in a special compartment in the purse. We'll talk about purse carry. Or this could be a commuter bag or the, the, the computer bag uh, or any kind of a shoulder bag or purse. Then that becomes kind of universal for boys and girls to carry a gun there. Possibly a day pack. Yep, carry the gun in a day pack, especially if it was designed to carry the firearm. And there are a couple of good manufacturers of day packs and other things that are designed to carry a firearm. I wouldn't put the gun in any old hiking day pack. It must be a day pack designed for firearm carry. Uh, maybe a messenger bag or day pack, yes. Uh, lots of things, and there's a lot of ways to do it. Those are what I came up with. What can you think of? What can you think of to add to our list? Uh, send me a note on that, and we'll put them back on the list, and that'll be more conversation on Sunday. Uh, holster won't do you any good if you don't wear it. And so a holster must be something that you're willing to wear and the gun take with you wherever you go. If you leave it at home, not going to help you much. And so I continue to urge you to take good notes for Sunday. Uh, your notes will make a good foundation for that class. And we talked about holsters today. What would you like to hear about tomorrow? Uh, a lot of good topics out there. How about, let's talk about your duty to shoot the gun and rescue others. How about your rights to use the gun to not only rescue yourself, but rescue others as well. Hmm. Duty versus rights. That would be a good conversation. And so let's put that on the books for tomorrow's talk. Current news stories will certainly prompt some good information and good conversation about that. Um, and we've got some new folks joining us for this conversation. So for you new guys out there, welcome y'all. Glad to see you in here. And so look forward to more of, more of you on probably Sunday. More information on that as we go along. And who else? Who else do you know that should be a part of this? And so please share this email with others that you have care for or trust. And the more people we can inform, maybe the safer our world becomes. We'd all like to do our part to make this work. This will be an online class on Sunday or, or a Zoom class. But we'll bring all these topics together and study some good answers together. You'll come away Sunday with a whole notebook chock full of good answers for some of the ideas that we've talked about all week. We'd like to share this live class and it would be our Christmas gift to you. So there's no fees, no charges for the class on Sunday. If you participated in this, you deserve to be here for the answers. And so Sunday will be our Christmas present to you. And please confirm that you want to join Sunday because I'll need to send you that Zoom link. And so send me a request for the link at my email. And my email is, it's jb at oldschoolgunschool.com. Send me an, a request for that link. And I'll get you on back before we start on Sunday. And until then, I wish you peace on earth, uh, peace of mind, and most importantly, Merry Christmas to all from the Old School Gun School.